Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the honorary president of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation and founder of Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mixed Martial Organization, KHK MMA, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended yesterday the fourth Brave Fighting Championship, which is held under His Highness's patronage at the IPIC Arena in Abu Dhabi. The championship, which is organized by Brave Combat Federation with the participation of 26 fighters, the matches were attended by MMA enthusiasts and a number of invitees. His Highness Sheikh Khalid attributed the development of the sports to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to create the ideal atmosphere for Bahraini youth to develop their skills. Sheikh Khalid also lauded the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to develop the sport field. He highlighted the organization of the event which was praised by various international sports organizations adding that his goal is to promote the sports in various regions of the world. With the final round of the octagon ending, Brave 4 Unstoppable has ended in Abu Dhabi with the crowning of the first ever champion in Brave Combat Federation and under the watchful eyes of the man with the dream to bring MMA to the region, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the founder of KHK MMA. Brave Combat Federation professional MMA promotion conceived under His Highness got several headlines around the world after a successful event that even went as far as Brazil. I'm very happy from one side and I'm very confused from the other side because from the beginning till the end the fights were unstoppable. It was, it, it was insane. Uh, we have Ahmad Amir who showed up there and beat Kevin Koldovsky at a, at a weight class. It, it, it was unbelievable performance. But by the time we reached, after three more fights, we, we, it, it got clouded by the other performances. Every performance was better than the other or maybe as good. It, it, it was just confusing. So I, this is one day that I'm impressed with uh, six, seven different people at the same time. So it's, it's confusing to say how it was. So I'm happy said that the fights were unbelievable. But at the same time, I think a lot of people lost uh, the credit that they should get because every fight was awesome. So you just didn't know which one to pick and who to who to give all the uh, credit to. So, but it was a great fight of night. I'm sure that this is one of the uh, greatest fight events or fights that I watched in any event uh, all together. And in this event, we saw, or I personally, for me, the best first round in any MMA fights I've seen was today when uh, Othman fought Charlie. I haven't seen a better first round than that. More than 24 athletes competed to be the best and the brave in Abu Dhabi and one leaving with the first ever title belt under his wing. Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced that the fifth edition of Brave Combat Federation Championship will be held in India on April 22nd at the Dome National Sports Club 
of India Stadium in Mumbai. The event will be organized by Brave Combat Federation that emanated from KHK MMA in collaboration with the Indian Mixed Martial Arts Association. We're gonna fly. We, we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop. We promise to go around the world. So next stop is uh, India. April 22nd, we're going to India, and then uh, I was supposed to make the announcement today, but I think you know what? I'm gonna make it right now here uh, on April 29th. As soon as India is over, we're going to Kazakhstan for the uh, next brave. So we're gonna have two more braves in the upcoming month. So we're gonna stay busy. The fighters are gonna stay busy, and we're gonna see so much more great fights. So finally, we say goodbye to the UAE. And we welcome India for Brave 5. Reporting for Bahrain Television, this is Mohammed Janahi. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, honorary president of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation and founder of Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mixed Martial Arts Organization, the KHK MMA, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced that with the cooperation of the Indian Federation for Mixed Martial Arts, the fifth Brave Championship will be held in India. The championship will take place on the 22nd of April in Mumbai. His Highness Sheikh Khalid directed Brave Fighting Federation to start preparing for the fifth championship in India, considering it an opportunity to enhance Bahraini-Indian relations, particularly on the level of sports. He affirmed the wise leadership support to this field, highlighting the efforts exerted by representatives of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop this sport and promote it globally. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also valued the high level of cooperation and coordination of the UAE Jiu Jitsu Federation, which contributed to the success of the fourth Brave Fighting Championship, which was held in Abu Dhabi. He hailed the high levels demonstrated by the participants in the fourth edition of the championship. He congratulated the winners and wished other participants success in upcoming events. A consultative meeting was held between the Representatives Council's delegation and chairman of the Indonesian Bahraini Friendship Committee and member of parliament Asib Mousoul and vice chairman of the committee Saifullah Tamliha at the council's building in Jakarta. The Representatives Council member and chairman of the National Asian Assembly Abbas Al Madi affirmed the importance of relations between Bahrain and Asian countries in light of the global changes. He asserted that a unifying plans visions as well as enhancing relations with Asian countries in all fields will be a top priority in the agendas of the Parliamentary Friendship Committee's joint meetings. The visit of the representatives delegation aims to promote the legislative and judicial authorities of Bahrain in regional and international forms as active and influential members of many Arab and international federations and legislative institutions. The visit also aims to promote the achievements of Bahrain in all fields under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, consolidating international relations and diplomacy between various parliaments of the world and strengthening the role of committees of parliamentary friendship.